<laughs> Today's video is just gonna be a regular vlog, but I'm also gonna show you guys what we're eating today. Um, sometimes waffles. Sometimes I forget, but I'm gonna try and show you guys um, what we're eating today because it's been a long time since I've done a what I ate video. So for breakfast, the girls started with um, a banana. I split a banana in half and put that on their plates while I got the other stuff ready. And then Skyla is having a yogurt in a cup, this kind. She doesn't usually eat very much of it though, but she was asking for them when we were at the store because they have the frozen characters on them. And then Adeline was eating this pouch, but she threw it on the ground. There were no more of the ones I normally get at, um, at it's done yeah. at uh, Target, so I got these. So they're having yogurt, and then I made some of these Mickey Eggo waffles. And then Adeline has her milk, and Skyla's got half of that Minute Maid pink lemonade and half water. They slept in today, so I was able to take a shower before they woke up, which was amazing. They didn't wake up until about 8.15 today. I'm melting some butter between my Wick Mickey Eggos because that's what I'm going to be eating for breakfast today too. Some of you guys were asking about these Amazon free time uh, pads that I showed in one of my last um, videos. And the reason we got Skyla one, even though she has an iPad, is because these have everything just for kids on them. So it's got games, videos, um, it's just specifically all for kids. So the iPad, Nick was like, I just, it was, these were pretty cheap. And so Nick was like, we should just get them both one because it has um, apps and games, books, TV, websites, but it's, it's like child locked. And I'm sure there's a way you can do that on the iPad, but Nick was worried about Skyla getting into videos that she shouldn't be getting into. And also you guys know that YouTube Kids had that um, huge like issue with people creating videos that are super inappropriate but they slip through the algorithm somehow and so Nick just was like this is cheap enough we might as well just switch her over to that instead of the iPad so that's what we did so now they both have these little Amazon free time things <laughs> you like ice cream you yeah. like ice cream yes I do you like ice cream yes I do um, they, Skyla asked for more bananas, so I put some more bananas on both their plates, so that'll be a full banana. Do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. you like ice cream? X. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. you like X? <laughs> yes, I do. Do you like egg ice cream? No. No, I don't. Ew. Yucky. Yeah. We switched over to these gummies, so Skyla gets one every single day. Skyla just brought me two plates of cupcakes. <laughs> Thanks, honey. It looks delicious. Dad, you were blue. <laughs> Yay! Good job! Woo! Good job! Clap for Adeline! Yay! Come on, Adeline! <laughs> <laughs> Can you come this way? Are you getting stuck on the rug? Yeah. Come on. You stuck? Here, I'll help you. Let me help you. Let me help you get over the rug situation. There you go. There you go. Good job, Adeline. I did it. 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 Oh, good. Good. Come on, Adeline. We're going to go make Mommy's bed. Come on, Adeline, we're gonna make mommy's bed. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Yes, yeah, baby. Come on, Adeline, you're going sideways. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay, we're back home. We went to Chipotle for lunch and it was really good. I had barbacoa tacos um, with every almost everything on it. I always really load them up. And then the girls had 
cheese quesadillas with white rice and pinto beans and a little mandarin orange on the side. I'm doing laundry, that's why I'm filming in here. I have to move Zell's bowls up there because Adeline gets into everything. But I'm doing a load of laundry right now and this is barricaded up so she can't get to Duchess's litter box. After Chipotle, um, listen, look at this is getting so bad. It's so bad, guys. Oh, it's so bad. I have an appointment tomorrow to get highlights. I'm going back to my blonde. No, baby. After Chipotle, we went through the Starbucks drive-thru and I got a Trenta um, passion fruit or dragon fruit refresher with coconut milk. So it's like, I don't know if it's called the violet drink or whatever, but it was really good. And then... Skyla had a pink cake pop. I, I got two of them in case Adeline was going to see hers and cry and get jealous. But she didn't. Adeline fell asleep in the truck on the way back. So only Skyla had... Oh, it's getting hot in here with the store closed. So only Skyla had the cake pop. So Adeline took a nap in the car. When we got home, I put Skyla up in her room for her nap. So she's napping right now. So it's just me and Adeline. Um... And we're doing laundry. I'm I'm going to start tracking my food again on my fitness pal because um, Amber, who was my trainer when I was um, after I gave birth to Skyla to help me get back in shape and then to stay in shape when I was pregnant with Adeline, she's gonna help me get back on a healthy plan. Um, I won't shove it down y'all's throats again. I know that people got annoyed when I was posting about it all the time when I was pregnant with Adeline, so I won't do that. I won't get too crazy but it's so hard because when you get on this healthy lifestyle you're like obsessed and you're like, you like want to share because you're so proud of yourself and your progress and like the healthy food you're making and stuff and I guess I shouldn't say that I won't do it because I probably will but I'm sorry if you guys get annoyed about seeing all the healthy stuff and all that but um I'm not working out at all right now like at all um the extent of my working out is carrying Adeline up and down the stairs I need to start. We have a double jogging stroller. I have no excuse. I bought it with the intention of taking the girls jogging and I just haven't. So say, I need to start working now. Mommy needs to start working now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Look at you, big girl. Look at you! Mm. Can you smile and show them all your new teeth? Go, show them your teeth. <laughs> so Adeline is ready for a snack, so she's gonna get a Horizon Organic String Cheese. The girls love these as snacks. You love these, huh? It always looks like she's gonna take big chunks out of it, but she, oh, you kinda took a decent sized chunk right there. But she normally just nibbles on it, cause at first I was worried about her taking like a big bite off of it and choking on it since it's circular like that, like a hot dog, I was kinda worried about it. But after I watched her eat it a couple times, she usually takes little bites. No thank you, no thank you, nope. I haven't really showed you guys, but we finally kind of like cleared out um, our closet, this whole like area straight back, it's still not like super organized, but that whole area like straight back in our closet was boxes of crap that I just hadn't organized yet. And I know we've been living here for almost a year now, but this is the very last box from our master bedroom, bathroom, everything. I think that We've gotten the majority of the boxes unpacked. I know it's like probably crazy to you guys that it's taken us a year to get to everything, but I swear to you, there's just so much that has to get done on a daily basis. Unpacking takes us so long. And I totally feel like so ridiculously behind, especially after watching Tara Henderson's new videos. Like she's like got her decor game on. She's like organizing. She's like unpacked. Like they did everything like immediately. They moved in, got everything unpacked and like called it good. Like right away. For us, we just like put it off and put it off and put it off. We didn't even hang things on the walls for months. There wouldn't even be half the stuff hung in the girls' rooms if our nanny hadn't taken stuff. She kind of just took stuff out of boxes and like put it on existing nails that were already in the room. So some of the stuff, most of the stuff in Adeline's room isn't where it's actually going to be 
staying for decor if that makes sense she just put it up there to get out of the way because there were already some nails in Adeline's room Skyla's room is a lot more done it's not done but it's got a lot more done to it than Adeline's room does but now that we know we're gonna, that we're gonna be here for another year we're really excited excited to start actually decorating and actually organizing because that's something that we've totally neglected because when we moved into this house we were just thinking it's super temporary we didn't know how long we'd be here if it was going to be a year or more and now that we know that we're going to be here for at least another year um we, we feel it feels more like a home now than it did previously if that makes sense so i'm going to try and get better at getting decor stuff but still since we're renting there are things that like i can't do and that i'm not going to do like i want to paint the girls rooms but Realistically, if we decide to move at the end of this year, um, I just don't want to pay for somebody to come in and paint the girls' rooms or even do it myself, which I think I would do an awful job, but if I did it myself, um, I don't want to go through either all that work or all that money for just a year. So we're not going to paint anything or like do anything drastic until we know that we're going to live somewhere for more than a year or, you know, somewhere that's going to be a little bit more permanent. So let's see what's in this box. I already see my Disney Uggs that I've been looking for. Seriously, guys, since we moved, I have had no idea where these were and turns out they were just in a box in the back of our closet. But they're Tinkerbell, the Ugg and Disney collaboration. And my Hunter boots. This is crazy. I've never even worn them. My mom got them for me for Christmas, and they haven't even been worn. Is that crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought them for mommy. Mama, mama, <laughs> does it? So that's all that was in it. Was the rest was just a bunch of empty shoe boxes because I do keep shoe boxes, but my UGG shoe protector and cleaner, and just some like really random stuff that was in there, like a random pair of sweatpants. It's so funny. Um, I don't even remember these sweatpants. Are they next? Oh, Nick loves these. These are the chubbies I bought him for like his birthday or something. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be so happy that we found these. Skyla just woke up from her nap, so I'm about to, I'm gonna leave my phone down here plugged in. I really just have decided that I really need to be more present with the girls, so I'm leaving my phone down here. I'm gonna go up to the playroom, hang out with the girls for a little bit. When the laundry is done, I am gonna have to fold laundry, but. I can take the laundry upstairs and fold it, so it's all good, but I really need to at least designate a few hours a day where my phone is completely out of sight. If you guys don't follow on Instagram, we got this new rug from Lowe's. It's super comfy and nice. This is the biggest size they had, but I think it looks so good in our living room. I'm really happy with it. I think our living room is looking really great. I still need to... I want to put a big family canvas up there, and yeah, I know the tree needs to come down, just ignore that. <laughs> but I want to put a big canvas of our family up there and get some like more decor for this um, entertainment center. I'm also really loving the new stair basket where I can put things to grab on my way up, but I've got Adeline in my hands right now, so I can't um, exactly carry anything else because I've got my camera and my baby. Hey. How was your nap? Good? Oh. <laughs> Good job. Oh, I let Daddy try. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. What are you looking at while you talk? Like this is my back. Like this is my back. I need to go. Like, um, this is my back. My hair. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. That's in my bag. Okay. That was in your bag. Got it. I love your outfits, Kyla. Do you want to tell everyone what your OOTD is? You have a Minnie Mouse shirt on from Baby Gap. Minnie! Yes! I like Minnie Gap! 
And you've got your Ralph Lauren leggings on. And you've got your beautiful red bow from, I think that's from the holiday market that we went to. Adeline's OOTD is her little dress that used to be Skyla's from Peak. And her Burberry leggings from Yaya. So I just brought the girls a drink up. Here, Skyla, here's yours. That one's for Adeline, okay? Daddy. Yeah, you can have a sip, but that one's for Adeline. That one's for you. That's a big girl drink. Some, an honest pouch. And then I'm gonna give this one to Adeline. Here, sweetie. Here, you want a drink? You don't like the pouch? I want a snack. You want a snack? You can have a snack. You don't have to cry. What kind of snack do you want? I want to make my snacks. You want that lemonade? You don't want a pouch lemonade? You can have a drink of that. Adeline doesn't mind. Hi, Dutchie. What are you doing, baby? Am I gonna have to go get Adeline more? Do you not, Skyla, do you not like this? You don't like it? Yes or no? I like it. Oh, you just want it to be in a cup? Okay. What do you want for a snack, hun? Um, pirate snacks. Pirate booty? Okay. Okay, so Skyla loves these pirate booty snacks. And then I'm bringing one of these up for Adeline because Adeline can kind of eat these, but they still make me nervous because they're kind of hard. But she, I mean, I do give them to her sometimes, but I just brought her a baby mum mum up for her snack. Here, sweetie. Adeline saw the Starbucks um, bag sitting on the counter, so she knew it was a C A K E P O P. So she was like whining and reaching for it. So she also got her um, C A K E P O P today. So the girls both had I one. I fly now my room right now. What? I fly now. I do all my dresses for me. All your costumes? Yes. Cool. Santa Claus brings us all. Santa, Santa Claus, Claus did. The first Santa Claus brings us. Yeah, he did. I decided to organize Adeline's closet as best as I could. That's just her bag that I take with her, and those are two my two favorite baby carriers. So I just organized it by like no sleeves, sleeves, long sleeves, sweaters, dresses, and like long pantsuits. And then she only has one tutu because we're not really in that phase yet with her. But I also have um, more shoes on the back of this um, door. So now I can actually. You see what? In the garage. What's in the garage? In the garage. I took all this stuff out. And I'm going to put it in the stuff that baby number three could potentially use, like if it's a girl. I'm gonna put in the um, in the closet in there, um, but I'm gonna figure out how to organize this stuff. I am so out of breath, but I cleared out. There was a big tub right here, and I cleared that out finally as well. All right, the girls have their mac and cheese. Is it good? It's my dinner. It's your dinner? Yes. I had that. I had to take Skyla's costume off so she doesn't. Um, get her costume all nasty, so um, that's why I'm just filming Adeline. But here's their mac and cheese, and I'm going to get them some water as well. We keep these cute little um, good to grow cups that we get at Target usually, but you can get them at HEB too. But we keep these, and then we fill them with water or juice or whatever, um, and we have all the cute little tops, and the girls really love it. Water is coming up. Oh, you want Tinkerbell? I want, I want this one. Okay. Alright, it's 7.45 and Little Bit is exhausted. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh my gosh. Walking up these stairs with her is a challenge for real. So I'm going to put her to bed. Nick said that he's going to get Chick-fil-A. So I don't have to cook. And I love Chick-fil-A. And he got me a large diet lemonade. So all is good in the world. 
I'm gonna put this one to sleep. Hello. Skyla's watching her iPad in my bed. So, yeah. Let's put this little nugget to sleep. Oh, I miss Aww. you. I love you. I <laughs> yeah, because he's asleep. The trick is to mix these two together for your nuggets. And of course, my delicious diet lemonade. You can never get enough diet lemonade. Okay, I finally got Skyla to bed. Nick has been working. He has a big presentation tomorrow, so he's in the office working. He has been ever since he got home. So I put Skyla to bed, I read her a couple books, and I got her to sleep tonight without screaming when I walked out of the room, which is really hard because lately when we leave her in her room to go to bed, she screams and like cries and hates it, and it's so hard every night I dread it. But tonight, she didn't cry at all, so I must have done something right tonight, I don't really know. Um, but I'm gonna answer a question from the last video. Um, okay. And I, by the way, I showed you guys everything that all of us ate today. Um, there was nothing left out at all of the vlog. So, um, yeah. So this question is from Gina Weber from the last vlog. It says, I have a question. What is one thing you're, you are going to do differently with a third baby, if in, anything? In quotes, it says, um, I mean, in parentheses, it says sleep routines, feeding, etc. And what's one thing you took from the two girls that you're going to definitely do with the third baby, if that makes sense. Love your vlogs. Something that I will not do with the third baby. Hmm. That's a t hard one because you never know how you're actually going to be until you're in the moment. I don't know exactly what life is going to be like when the third baby is here. I don't know what phases Skyla and Adeline are going to be in. Um, I'm trying to think if there's like something really big that stands out um, that I want to make sure I don't do. Okay, I thought of one thing. I fed Skyla solids when she was four months old. Um, and my pediatrician told me that it was a good idea to start solids at four months. But I know now that there's absolutely no rush to get your baby started on solids um with adeline i started her at six months and i did i kind of got adeline eating um more advanced foods earlier on than skyla with skyla i stayed with purees for way longer than she needed to be on purees and with adeline i've been i tried to like so I think if you do baby led weaning, you have to follow it like to a T. I didn't follow it to a T, but I did sometimes give her bigger pieces of things at a younger age than I did with Skyla for her to learn how to hold it and chew it. And Adeline's really good with her, um, what is it called? Her fine motor skills. She can hold a pouch without squeezing it all over herself. Um, and Skyla couldn't do that until she was near. This sounds crazy, but like at least probably almost two up until then she would just squeeze it everywhere the girls are just really different um so i there's no rush to start doing solids um you know i'm gonna wait till six months with baby three like i did with adeline one thing that i definitely will do again is with adeline i was so much more laid back i was like a completely different person when she was born I was way more relaxed during the pregnancy. I was healthier during the pregnancy. I have not been healthy during this pregnancy. I'm eating whatever I want and not working out. So I feel like it's already getting out of control and I'm worried about it. So I'm hoping to get on some sort of regimen with Amber to straighten it all out. Um, but 
I was looking back at pictures of myself postpartum like right after I had Adeline and I'm just shocked by I'm shocked by it because my pregnancy with both girls were so totally different but I'm kind of getting off topic but what I was going to say is I was so laid back with Adeline when she was born because I was a second time mom and I'd done it all before so I just felt super comfortable so I feel like Adeline is way more laid back than Skyla because of my personality and the way that I interact with her and just how calm I am with her. I'm always so calm with her and she's calm with me. With Skyla, I was so scared and paranoid in the beginning um, and uptight and just worried, like always just like a worry wart with her. And I think that it caused her to be stressed and worried and like just, I, I think the high stress that was me in the beginning with her rubbed off on her as a baby and a toddler because T Skyla was very, a very high stress baby. Anyway, leave your question below for the next vlog and make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button. Make sure your bell notification is on and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Yeah.